The Labour MP, David Lammy, wants the law on smacking to be relaxed. It was his party in government which introduced new legislation preventing parents in England and Wales from smacking their children if it caused a reddening of the skin. A similar law already applied in Scotland. Now, though, he wants, David Lammy wants the law to be relaxed. He says his constituents in Tottenham have told him that last summer's riots were partly the result of them being unable to discipline their children. In a radio interview, the former Labour education minister said... These parents are scared to smack their children and paranoid that social workers will get involved and take their children away. The ability to exercise their own judgment in relation to discipline and reasonable chastisement has been taken away. So, should the smacking law be relaxed? With me, the Conservative MP Harriet Baldwin and Laurie Penny, a columnist for the New Statesman. Harriet Baldwin, are you scared to smack your own children? I think in the confines of a loving parental relationship, um, it's a very important aspect of being able to uh, have discipline. And although I can't say that I ever actually have smacked a child, um, the fact that it's there as a threat, I think, is an important part of being a parent. So how hard should a parent be allowed to smack, in your view? Well, I think that um, a, a loving parent knows that, for example, if a child runs into the road and you have to jerk the child back and you might give them a slap on the legs or something like that, that those are the kinds of things that are all part of being a good, loving parent and having boundaries and discipline for your children. So not six of the best with a cane, then? No, I don't think so, no. <laughs> Laurie Penny, isn't it the case, as, as David Lammy was saying, that it's for all very well for middle-class parents to make this argument, but actually, if you're living in poverty, surrounded by crime, actually being able to discipline your kids with a smack might be the only way to teach them right and wrong. I think this is absolute nonsense. Firstly, it's a massive rewriting. We're already trying to rewrite history to say that the riots were not caused by civil unrest or social breakdown. It was just a failure of parenting. You know, if we'd only beaten our children a little bit harder, then maybe they wouldn't. Well, they would have just stayed quietly at home whilst young men in their community were shot by police, been terrorising Tottenham and other areas of inner London for years. And this is absolute nonsense. This idea that there's some kind of moral failure in our society rather than mass social breakdown, mass civil unrest, it's, which is what people are frightened of more and more. I don't think, well, per Harry, personally, I don't think, I don't think that it's alright to smack a child, but I certainly don't think that smacking children, hitting children, is any solution to social unrest. Harriet Baldwin, smacking your ch children would not have prevented the summer riots, would it? I think David Lammy's very in touch with his community and I think that he's highlighted one of the many, many um, aspects that he thinks need to, needs to be tackled. I do think that we've had an erosion of adult discipline and boundaries and I think School discipline also is something that this government's taking steps to restore. Well, they must be, they must... But um, uh, you know, as as Laurie says, it's not the only and single cause of uh, of the. No, I said it's not a cause at all. Not beat. I mean, my goodness, they must beat the hell out of their children in Kensington and Chelsea and Richmond because there were no riots there, were there? You know, it is about David Lammy is saying that working class kids should beat their kill children. Well, you know, let's beat the feral out of the underclass. This is not a solution to civil breakdown here. It's not about exercising more authority. If we need to terrorise our children and punish physically children into behaving whilst they see breakdown on their street, then we've got a lot more problems than this government is willing to admit. I, I think Laurie is, is getting completely um, out of proportion. The, the message that David Lammy, I think, is sending through in a very sensible and mature way, which is that adult boundaries and discipline are all part as a society adult of he hits responsibility. His -year -old child, that is not okay. Well, let me just let me just put a quote to you, Laurie. The parents are no longer sovereign in their own homes. David Lammy says. Well, I don't think sovereignty in people's own homes is something we should be striving for. We're not talking about sovereignty. Well, we're talking parents about, have got to keep about, control, We're though, talking about they? fear. If you can't keep control of your child apart from by brutalising it and terrorising... OK, if I, have a, if I have a puppy, if I buy a puppy from a shop, I am told, don't beat it, don't hit it, be nice to it, otherwise it might turn violent. You know, if you love some, if you love a child... This is, we're not talking about animals here, we're talking about children. Smacking is a lack of control, isn't it? I think smacking it has to be a last resort. I sort of re regard it myself as being a bit like the trident of parenting. But, you know, the fact that it's there and exists as a threat is a good deterrent. But the, the, so we, you... should be, we should be threatening our children rather than instilling some kind of... <laughs> this is absolutely... You're saying <laughs> we should... Children, you're saying, you're saying, you're saying Have you should... got children, Have you got children? I don't know why that matters. I've well, been I a just child. Think that, you so know... when I'm a parent, I'll know that it's OK you mean to when you're beat a parent... brutalise kids. That's fine. When you're All a right, parent, it? It, it changes everything, does it? 
Well, I just think that we all we all know parents, and and as a parent, um, we, we all know people who have occasionally um, smacked a child. Why I don't have you think never it smacked your children then? Well, I just think that it's, um, I've been lucky in a way, but I know I was, as a child, my father smacked me a couple of times and, um, you know, I, I don't think it was anything other than loving parenting and trying to send messages of discipline so about you what would, was right so you'd and what have, was wrong. Basically, you would advocate beating, hitting kids as a solution to social breakdown on the street. But and there's a difference between child no, abuse and keeping parental control. Well, I mean, no, you're I distorting the two. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think hitting children is a form of abuse and should be recognised as such. I'm absolutely shocked to hear a Labour MP almost boasting about the fact that he hit his three-year-old son and that's disgraceful it's execrable we should not be standing for it and I don't care if it was normal 20 years ago maybe people used to hit children more 20 years ago yes we had riots 20 years ago we've had riots in Britain many many times when we've had escalating inequality between rich and poor We're, this is people trying to move the debate between a social debate as in and making it more about failure of parenting and it's unfair to parents as well it's saying that parents it's it's your fault. You just you just didn't keep control of your Laurie, kids enough. Laurie Penny, I've got to end it there. Laurie Penny, Harriet Baldwin, thank you very much for coming in.